Hello, Scorpios, and thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind my readings are general and may or may not resonate, so take with us and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more insight. And <laughs> I forgot the rest of the intro. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So, a message from your person. I am indecisive, but I've changed for you. I'm not wilding out like I used to. I don't do the things I used to no more. I've changed for you. However, even though this person has changed for you, they're still indecisive if they want to be with you. Wow. Okay, so let's look a little deeper. Okay, Spirit, tell me what's going on. What is going on with Scorpio? Scorpio. There is somebody who also make, that makes you very happy that gives you a lot of fucking anxiety. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Somebody here is very passionate about you. They're just focused on the happy times, however you're worried. You want to know how long this person is going to be here for, okay? Because you're looking for something serious, and that's making you want to keep your guard up because this is the beginning of a situation for you. So this would be for a newer connection, okay? Um, within the first six months. I feel like you're a bit worried about whether or not this is going to be long term for you but before you put your investment in even though you already are putting a lot of time into this i feel like you're also still keeping you know some to yourself if you know what i mean it's like you're not giving your every bit of all but you're giving a lot <laughs> maybe i might be speaking to some people who want to say the you know i love yous but you're scared well, let's see how this person feels. Because there's some indecision here. It could be you, could be this person. But let's just say. All right, spirit. So tell me. How does this person feel about my Scorpio? I'm going to say Cancer. Some of you guys definitely could be dealing with a Cancer. Spirit, tell me, how does this person feel about Scorpio? Oh, thank you. Look, King of Wands came out again. Definitely could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or somebody who is a bit of a asshole, a little arrogant, you know. Passionate, though. The motherfucker think you cute. This is a fine-looking motherfucker, too, okay? They, they dress very... Mm, I don't want to say necessarily well, but this is somebody who dresses very professionally. Like, this wouldn't be a sneaker and shirt type of guy to go out on a date. This motherfucker would have on shoes, okay? This is somebody who likes to be treated like a king. This is somebody who would call themselves a king, okay? Not daddy, but king, okay? They probably like to be called daddy, too, in the bed. But this person also could be a Gemini. This is somebody who um, is uh, divinely guided towards you all right the sex looks awesome between you two all right yeah but i feel like you want to cut this person off or this person may want to cut you off why because you keep starting with them they feel like it's too much conflict to keep going with the full card it feels like they almost feel dumb if they keep reaching out to you because with the will of fortune it's like a a uh, it, it's a constant thing going on between you two where you guys fight y'all get back together and then it happens again it's like there's no there's love here but you don't really get to feel it because you guys are always in conflict definitely can be another cancer pisces or scorpio because you guys do love each other regardless of the fact but somebody is getting tired of the regardless here okay so let's see what the outcome is what is the outcome, Spirit? Please tell me, what is the outcome for Scorpio? Outcome for Scorpio with this person? The Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. Y'all ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you and this person are going to be together if y'all are not together. If y'all are already together, it's going to become very stable between you two. Because both of you guys want this. And with the Star card, it's like wish is granted, wish fulfillment. All right? So let's see what the advice is. Get out of your fucking head about the toxicity in this relationship. Let go of the old ways, the not-so-nice ways, so you guys can grow abundantly. Some of you guys are pregnant. Stop worrying about if something is going to happen with that baby. That baby is fine. That baby going to be fine, and you are going to be a fine mom, okay? So let's get one card from the Love Oracle. It says retreat. 
All right? Time to disconnect from the world. Reconciliation is at the bottom of the card, the deck, too. So some of you may be coming back to your person, your ex, whoever. I don't know. Baby daddy for some of y'all. Bye, guys.